Today's medication is called sodium bicarbonate, and I have done a whole video on sodium bicarbonate, but things have changed. ACLS protocols have changed, so I'm going to go ahead and update this. Hope you guys like it. Sodium bicarbonate falls under the class of alkalinizing agents and antacids. The mechanism of action is that it increases blood and urinary pH levels, which neutralizes the overall hydrogen ion concentrations. And the high hydrogen ion concentrations are what is causing the patient to be in an acid state. So what it does is it neutralizes those hydrogen ions and it brings the patient's pH level down to a normal level. Your indications are going to be known pre-existing hyperkalemia, tricyclic antidepressant overdoses, and phenobarbital overdoses, and it may be used as an adjunct in other causes of metabolic acidosis. And the two main causes that you're most likely going to see out in the EMS field 911 setting specifically are going to be compartment syndrome and crush syndrome. Now in some cases, the hospital will give sodium bicarbonate for DKA. Um, all depends on your protocol if you are allowed to give that. As always, before we get into dosages, make sure you're abiding by your local protocol and staying within your scope of practice. And in most states, sodium bicarbonate is going to be a paramedic level medication. So your dose is going to be one mil equivalent per kilogram IV or IO single dose. And the pediatric and adult dose are the same, one mil equivalent per kilogram. Now I will say if you're taking a patient on a long distance transport and they've been diagnosed with pre-existing high hyperkalemia or DK or something the hospital has determined they want them given sodium bicarbonate. It may be a different dose and given in a different manner. Just a heads up. Contraindications for sodium bicarbonate are going to be severe pulmonary edema, documented hypersensitivity to the medication, and patients with severe congestive heart failure. Adverse reactions of sodium bicarbonate can include swelling of the feet and legs, abnormal arterial blood gases, metabolic and respiratory alkalosis. Your drug interactions. Be advised, sodium bicarb does inactivate most drugs. Do not give it through the same line at the same time. How it's supplied. It is supplied in a 50 mil equivalent in 50 milliliter vial or pre-fill syringes. A few side notes about bicarb. The administration in patients with cardiac disease like congestive heart failure can be detrimental because it increases the sodium concentration and intravascular volume, and this puts extra stress on the heart. That is why severe CHF is a contraindication. Sodium bicarbonate can dangerously alter the pH level, so alerting the hospital of the administration of it is ideal in order for them to prepare to do immediate ABGs. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol, stay within your scope of practice. Remember, this video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I will see you next week. Bye!